Hey guys, uh, thanks for watching this video. Um, today for you, I'm going to do some tips for college freshmen just coming in. I'm currently going to be in junior um, at Dort College. I don't know if you can see that or whatever. Uh, it's in Iowa, that's where I go. Uh, so I have a few years of experience and I've definitely gone through the first week of college before, so here's some tips uh, and advice for those who are probably just freaking out because it's almost time. Uh, so here we go. So your, my first tip for you um, is to find your classrooms before school starts. Now no matter how big of your campus is going to be. My school is actually pretty small, so it's really not that hard to navigate. But even then, I still had trouble finding some of my classes the first days of school, even after the first day. Second day, I was like, wait, where did I have that class again? When you have free time, make sure you print out your class schedule, look at the uh, classes, and go find them first. And then when the day comes for your first day of classes, make sure you leave early enough so you don't get lost, you don't get caught in the crowd trying to figure out. This will also help you not look like a scared freshman walking around like, I don't know what's going on. And if you can't find your classroom, don't be afraid to ask. There is someone, if you, if you see someone that knows what they're doing, that looks like they're already be afraid to ask. They're going to be like, it's right there. They, no one is going to judge you. And if they do, shame on them. <sighs> like, who needs them anyways? Just find the next person. There'll be plenty of people to help you. Okay, so tip number two I have for you is your class books. Um, usually you'll get those before. Obviously, sometimes you, some of you guys will wait till afterwards. Sometimes the, teach, the professor won't even tell you until the first day of class. I've had that. I've had that before. And you're like, oh, by the way, I need to get seven books. And they're all $300 each. I'm like, what? All right, dropping this class, you know? But a word of advice, do not buy them from the school bookstore. What you should do is start doing your research, comparing prices. Um, there is a few websites where you can go to, depending on your school as well, um, and you can compare different places like Amazon uh, and halfpricebooks.com, uh, stuff like that, uh, with your school's bookstore, and they will show you what is the better price, where you should go buying your books, whether you should rent instead of buy, things like that, and I would suggest I, I think I bought every single time on Amazon and sometimes the books were say 80 to 100 and I bought them for four dollars like you should not be paying a ton of money for your books uh, some books you might have to some books are actually written by the professor for that particular class so you have to which is like so why are you making these so expensive? But that's a whole different rant that I'm not gonna get into. Tip number three is when you're actually starting classes and your your first classes of college, you're not really sure what to expect and things like that. What my advice to you is, is maybe it's not the first day of classes, but as you go on, find people who seem at least to know what they're doing that are very concentrated that are are like you probably consider them the smart people of the class I mean you're in college so everybody's smart don't worry but you need to find those who are really ambitious and those are going to be the ones that are asking questions a lot right away you might find them annoying I know some people can go over the top but my word of advice is to sit next to them um, because when the professor goes into, say, group discussion time or partners, you're usually sitting next to your partner. That's how they do it a lot of the times. And you're sitting right next to the smartest person. So one, they will um, be your, the best partner you can probably have in that class. Two, they will be one to motivate you yourself because they're going to be answering all these uh, questions. They're going to be asking all these questions and you're going to be right there hearing every single word. So you're not on the other side of the lecture hall or the classroom. You're like, what did he just ask? That's a good thing to have. My tip number four is to you is, it's not a hard and fast rule of how to make friends, but it is a way that I've definitely made a lot of friends in college. And it's the, I found the easiest way to make friends in college um, the first weekend 
it's gonna be awkward. It's going to be awkward for everyone because everyone is in the same situation. Remember that. Everyone's in the same situation. And the easiest way is to literally walk up to them and say, hi, my name's Luke. What's your name? What's your major? The small talk is for the first weekend of school. Everybody knows the small talk of college. What's your name, major? Where are you from? Uh, why did you choose this school? And if you're in a small school and one that nobody knows about really is how did you find this school? You get some interesting answers of how they <laughs> chose to go to that school. And right there, you're starting off the conversation. And from there, you might find interest. Uh, so like, so what do you do for fun? Like, oh, you play tennis, I play tennis. You play volleyball, I play volleyball. You, you find something, my, your favorite color is orange. My favorite color is orange. You have a connection right there. Just keep the conversation going. And if it's after that, and that's the last time you talk to that person, there is no harm done in that at all. And that is actually how I met a lot of my friends. And they actually introduced me to my roommates and like that's how it all came about. So connections there, even in the first weekend, even though sometimes they might not be your best friend that you will find in the first weekend, it could be the person that introduces you to your best friend. And my fifth and final tip, and it's about homesickness. Um, most people get homesickness. There is, especially if you're going uh, away from home, um, I went to a school that was 8 to 10 hours away from home, and so I couldn't go home on the weekends all the time. And so that was, that was new to me. That was the first time I've been away from that home for that long. If you're having it for more than one week, that's perfectly normal. I've had, I almost had it for the entire first semester. I contemplated whether this is the school for me, is this really what I wanted, and sometimes it's not. But it was just homesickness. It was just because I was in a completely new area. So if you're feeling homesickness the first weekend, this is normal. My word of advice for that is to find, um, whether it's a, a friend that you find that you went to school with and talk to them about it, um, whether it's a uh, professor, your advisor, your RA, they're there for your, uh, they're there for that particular reason. If you're having any problems with that, don't hide it away. It's perfectly normal to have and you should definitely be talking about it and making sure that you, because I've had, I've had friends who've been so homesick and they didn't tell anyone that they dropped out of school the first semester and that is, it should not be getting that, that far. If you're feeling that bad where they're not sleeping, you're not going to class, talk to someone. Set up a time to call home at least once a week do it on like Sunday night or something like that. Skype them, FaceTime them, whatever. Do something where you contact home frequently, but don't rely on that. Find someone at your school or make your new college family, as a lot of my friends have called it, your second home. But homesickness is definitely a real thing that most people get. And it's perfectly fine if you get it, but make sure you're not hoarding it alone. I hope that helps. If you want to hear more, press like, uh, subscribe, that would be awesome if you could subscribe, and then comment below if you have your own tips and advice or any questions. If you're an incoming freshman or a transfer student or even like an incoming senior and you're like, I still haven't figured this out, comment below, ask the questions. I'll be happy to answer any of those questions. Alright, I think that's, that's all. Oh, wow, I don't really have a stand-up. Well, Bye!